I am Matthew. First, before starting this Latin American series video, like to ask you all to look down at the bottom right of your screen, hit the subscribe buttons, and leave comments. So you don't miss more amazing videos coming to the Stardust channel. Today, the Stardust channel will return to the Latin American series with another unique and fantastic video. Watch the Stardust channel take you to another fabulous location in the Caribbean Sea of South America. This time, Stardust channel will take you to this city of Belize in the country of Belize, which again shows one more time the unique and unforgettable parts of Latin America. The channel will cover this country under the Latin America series because of its location and surroundings countries of Latin America. It is a very unique and beautiful country with a European and American style culture on the edge of the Southern Caribbean Sea. Stardust Channel takes you to Belize City, with its incredible culture history and amazing but unique ocean and land of astonishing beauty. Sit back and enjoy the video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe and like buttons, so you don't miss the next video. We greatly appreciate you watching the Stardust Channel. Thank you. Country of Belize. Belize City The most significant city was once the capital of previous English Honduras. As per the 2010 registration, Belize City has a populace of 57,169 individuals and 16,162 families. It is at the mouth of the Hallover Spring, which is a distributary of the Belize Waterway. The Belize Waterway purges into the Caribbean Ocean 8 kilometers, 5 miles, from Belize City on the Philip Goldson Roadway on the shore of the Caribbean. The city is the country's chief port and economic and modern center. Voyage ships stop outside the port and are offered by nearby residents. The town was predominantly obliterated in October 1961 when Storm Hattie cleared the ground. It was the capital of English Honduras, as Belize was then named, until the public authority was moved to the new capital of Belmopan in 1970. English timber collectors established Belize City as Belize Town in 1638. It was a little Maya city called Hall Zeus. Belize Town was great for the English as a focal post since it was on the ocean and a characteristic source for nearby streams and springs down which the English sent logwood and mahogany. Belize Town additionally turned into the home of a large number of enslaved Africans got by the English, later the English, starting in 1707, to work in the woodland business. It was the coordination site for the 1798 clash of St. George's Key, won by the English against would-be intruders, and the home of the nearby courts and government authorities up to the 1970s. Thus, antiquarians frequently say that the capital was the settlement because the focal point of English control was here. This opinion stays genuine today. Even though individuals like Antonio Soberanis, George Cost, and Evan X. Hyde all campaigned to take their developments outside and other ethnic gatherings, for example, the Garifuna and Mestizos jumped up elsewhere in the nation, individuals sought Belize Town for direction. Belize City fans out Mile 6 on the Western Thruway and Mile 5 on the Northern Parkway at the Hallover Scaffold. The city appropriate is generally partitioned into two regions, north side, limited by Hallover River and finishing off with the east of the post-George region, and south side, stretching out to the edges of the city and the port region, including downtown. Freetown, the westernmost supporter on north side, is home to the Balama, Coral Forest, Buttonwood Narrows, and Vista del Blemish rural areas. Inside the city, it reaches out around the previous Belize specialized school region. Caribbean Shores incorporates Lord's Park, a small suburb north and west of Freetown Street, West Landover, home to two of the College of Belize's three city grounds and private college levels. Pickstock possesses the banks of the Hallover River, reaching out to Dormitory Street. St. John's Church building remains on the southern finish of Albert Road. St. John's is the most established Anglican church in Focal America and quite possibly of the most seasoned working in Belize. The Orange Blocks came to Belize on board English boats as a stabilizer. Development started in 1812, and the congregation was finished in 1820. St. John's is the main Anglican basilica outside Britain where the delegation of lords occurred. Stronghold George may be the most pilgrim region in the city and contains Dedication Park, the Noble Ecstasy Grave, the Aristocrat Delight Beacon, and the Gallery of Belize. The swing scaffold in Belize City is the planet's leading working, physically worked swing span. Four scaffolds connect the divisions of the city, the swing extension at Market Square and North Front Road, the belching bascule extension at the Douglas Jones Road and Youth for the Future Drive intersection, the Belkin scaffold connecting Focal American Street and the indirect prompting the Northern Thruway and Caribbean Shores, and an as of late constructed fourth extension connecting Faber Street and the Southern Lake Freedom-Port Loyola region to the Balama and Northwest rural areas of the city. 
Various more modest scaffolds connect individual roads. The three primary channels in Belize City are Hallover Spring, Burden Waterway, and Calade Trench. Every one of them goes through Southside. List worthy things to do in Belize. Known for its beautiful caves, excellent scuba jumping, flawless turquoise water, and numerous open doors for experience, there are undeniably more fun activities in Belize than might potentially be shrouded in one excursion. You spend days investigating the magnificence of Belize, from its seashores to its Mayan urban communities to the exceptional ATM cavern, however still scarcely started to expose this thrilling country. Thus, to make this Belize list of must-dos, collaborated with a few other travel bloggers to organize a manual for the top attractions in Belize. Whether you need to climb a Mayan pyramid, take a flight-seeing visit through the famous Blue Opening, unwind with your toes in the sand on perhaps of the best ocean side in Belize, or even lease a whole island, we take care of you on this manual for what to do in Belize. This is what to add to your rundown of activities in Belize to guarantee that you plan an excursion you will never forget. If unwinding and loosening up are high on your rundown of activities in Belize, Key Cocker is the ideal spot to invest energy. The island's informal trademarks are, in a real sense, go sluggish and no shirt, no shoes. No issue. Key Cocker's eastern shore is the best spot to snatch a lounger or an outdoor table to partake in the radiant climate and the hints of the sea. Various neighborhood cafes and bistros here can serve you new ground espresso, detoxifying natural product drinks, or reviving Belican lager, the brew of Belize, with nearby delights like lobster or seared plantains. Anything that you want to feel the loosest. One more famous spot to relax on Key Cocker is the Parted, where an enormous wharf, ideal for sunbathing, extends out into the sea. To chill from the sun, there's a nearby tiki bar where you have a beverage in the shade or hop directly into the unmistakable blue waters. Go through the whole day here like numerous voyagers do, remain for splendid nightfall, and re-energize your batteries in Belize. Perhaps the best action in Belize is to visit the Shark Beam rear entryway, around 10 minutes by boat from Key Cocker. This piece of the whole Chan Marine save is home to a cornucopia of medical caretaker sharks and stingrays, which you'll have the chance to swim and snorkel with. Visits typically last around 2 hours, and visit organizations will give snorkels, covers, and life coats for the boat. The medical attendant sharks and stingrays are protected to swim with and enjoyable to watch. Investigate as needs be on which organization to take the visit with, as there are a few contributions to the excursion from Key Cocker, with changing moral practices. Some local area experts feed the sharks to guarantee they emerge, yet this is stunningly unreliable as it disturbs their regular environments. Continuously get some information about their maintainability strategy before focusing on a visit organization for this pleasant Belize fascination. Belize is a novel travel objective with numerous typical milestones that will blow you away. However, nothing can come even close to the incomparable blue opening. While it's on each jumper's Belize list of must dos a beautiful trip over the incomparable blue opening is the best way to see it. From the water, it simply looks like the, excellent, sea. One of the most incredible spots to get a grand flight is the famous vacationer island Ambergris Key, where sightseers run all year to partake in the clear waters and fantastic reef. You'll get an elevated perspective of those spectacular coral reefs when you take off. The trip to the incomparable blue opening requires 15 minutes, and afterward, the pilot will circle it multiple times in the two headings for the one-hour all-out trip. Each individual has their seat by the window and a phenomenal view to get lots of photographs. The journey is a little on the pricey side, yet worth each penny to encounter one of the top attractions in Belize. Key Cocker is one of the most beautiful and laid-back islands in Belize. It is known for the slow pace of life and the fresh lobsters most of the restaurants on the island serve. There are no cars on the island, only a few golf carts, a few mopeds, and plenty of bicycles. One of the best things to do in Key Cocker is go snorkeling in the whole Chan Marine Reserve and the Belize Barrier Reef, the second largest reef in the world, after the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. There are two types of tours that you can book if you want to go snorkeling in Key Cocker, half a day or full day. Depending on what you go for, the itinerary will differ. Some tours include visiting manatees and turtles, while others only have the shark alley. No matter which tour you go for, there will be plenty of things to see on the snorkeling trip. The reef is home to many species of fish, moray eels, nurse sharks, manta rays, and gorgeous corals. At the end of the trip, most boats head over to the other side of Key Cocker, where the protected giant tarpons live. Remaining on the renowned island of Ambergris Key while in the nation of Belize is an unquestionable requirement on any Belize schedule. Ambergris Key is generally well known for its reef, the second biggest on the planet. 
It's an astonishing encounter to recruit a boat and go out to the Belize Boundary Reef framework to snorkel or scuba jump. Remaining on Ambergris Key has a casual vibe with a sluggish, loosened up pace. Pick facilities at an oceanfront retreat to invest the most energy potential unwinding at the delightful white sand seashores or swimming in the blue water sea. Try not to miss the beautiful dawns and dusks. Strolling around the town of San Pedro to visit the shops and cafes is one more fun thing to do. Assuming you are remaining at a spot that has a grill, you can enlist an individual culinary specialist to cook privately got lobster for you. Ambergris Key is an unimaginably loosening place, and unwinding is undoubtedly one of the top activities in Belize. If you're searching for an aid on activities in Belize, a visit to Giggling Bird Key should be on your rundown. With stunning white sand seashores and the ideal turquoise water, this small island is an unquestionable necessity. Situated off the bank of Belize close to Placentia, Giggling Bird Key Public Park is a safeguarded region accessible to guests through day visits. It's the ideal swimming spot, as it's situated on the Belize Obstruction Reef Save Framework, the second biggest reef zone on the planet. Expect a road trip to Chuckling Bird Key to incorporate swimming, lunch and beverages, and parlor seats. Bring your towel, mixed drinks, assuming you'd like them, and your number one camera to take photographs of this supernatural spot in Belize. It will undoubtedly be a memorable day. Entirely possibly of everything thing that you can manage in Belize is least. The territory is an intimate island resort close to Placentia. The territory flaunts seven estates that rest a sum of 26 individuals. Every estate is extravagantly selected with enormous beds, rich restrooms, separate lounges, and confidential decks, all of which have private and unhampered perspectives on the Caribbean Ocean. Notwithstanding limitless admittance to swimming, kayaking, and paddleboarding from your shores, the hotel offers its pool. It is a couple of moments boat ride from the island to Placentia, and you are near a few extraordinary journeys that you can, without much of a stretch, book through the staff. Leasing the territory for seven days is surprisingly reasonable whenever split between countless visitors. For the excellence, tranquility, extravagance, and unmatched assistance, it is, in all honesty, a must-do insight in Belize sitting tight for you to attempt. Go buckling with the dead at Belize's ATM cavern. Point of fact, the best thing to do in Belize visits the ATM cavern. This is the number one explanation that numerous explorers visit San Ignacio, us included, and this daring Belize fascination isn't to be missed. Akshun Tunical Muknal, ATM, is a sacred Mayan verifiable site, and the name means Cavern of the Stone Catacomb. The Mayans trust caverns to be the opening to the hidden world, and stays of contributions as straightforward as corn and mud pots and as severe as the entire skeleton of a human penance casualty should be visible right where they were left quite a while in the past plus or minus a little water development. This is a wet cavern and has two significant attracts one visit, first, the Mayan history and relics, and second, the experience segment. The regular developments are shocking, and the hindrances from climbing around 15 feet rock to arrive at another space to fit into a passage so close that the rock contacts your neck on the two sides at the entry make this the ideal spot to get adrenaline hustling. Be ready to get wet, exercise, see a few remarkable destinations, and not get any photographs of it. Positively no cameras are permitted in the ATM cavern, so come ready to keep just recollections. Cave tubing in Belize is a unique way to experience Belize and a great way to enjoy the natural landscape. Tours typically start with a short hike, maybe 25 minutes or so, through the rainforest with all the gear for the float. Tubes, helmets, head torches, and life vests are provided. During the walk, there are lots of flora and fauna. There's even a monkey troop that calls the area home. The river float lasts for around 1 hour 30, and the tubes are all tied together in a train formation while floating through the caves. The caves are significant in the Mayan faith. The guide will highlight various rock formations representing animals and figures in the Mayan stories and myths. Cave tubing can be combined with other activities such as zip lining, ATV riding, or visiting the Al Tun Ha Mayan ruins. For something more strenuous, you could opt for booking a kayaking tour of the caves rather than a float. You probably have a ton of familiarity with the famous extraordinary blue opening in the Caribbean Ocean. It is notable for jumping, drifting, and swimming. Nonetheless, do you have at least some idea that there is a blue opening in Belize? Belize's inland blue opening is a cenote. So, if you knew about cenotes in the Yucatan promontory, that is the exact thing you'll track down here at St. Herman's Blue Opening Public Park. It is a sinkhole produced using limestone imploding and uncovering the groundwater. Many individuals today love to visit them as they will quite often bring about a mind-blowing swimming opening in the wilderness. Situated close to Belmopan, the capital of Belize, 
This public park has two caverns, ideal for cave tubing, and this sizable blue opening. You can take a dip and cool off in this loosening up blue opening as you respect the brilliant tone of the water. It is an ideal expansion to any Belize schedule. So whether you need to swim, float, go spelunking, or take photographs for the gram, St. Herman's Blue Opening Public Park is an unmissable fascination in Belize. Rio Frio Cavern, situated in the Mountain Pine Edge Woods Hold in western Belize, is one of the most effective available cavern frameworks in the little focal American country. One of the leading dry caverns in Belize, a visit to Rio Frio Cavern doesn't include swimming, swimming through water, or any difficult climbing. This makes Rio Frio perhaps of the best fascination in Belize to visit with kids. The methodology approaching the cavern is out and out stunning. The cavern's opening is a 65-foot limestone curve that welcomes visitors simply a short stroll from the parking garage. In the same way as other caverns in Belize, Rio Frio is accepted to have been a holy entombment site for the old Maya. And keeping in mind that it isn't also known as many of the other Mayan ruins in Belize, archaeologists have found Mayan relics in the cavern, affirming the cavern's memorable reason. You can follow the shallow waterway through the quarter-mile cave or meander close to the entry and look at the sharp rocks and stalagmites that have framed it throughout the long term. The ancient Mayan city of Caracol is both the greatest and one of the most very much saved old Maya urban areas in Belize. For any voyager searching for an enchanted encounter that will remove them from the sandy shores to a distant archaeological site, visiting Caracol is one of the top activities in Belize. Situated inside the Chiquibol woodland, save only 40 kilometers from San Ignacio, the hieroglyphic engravings found among the vast pyramids recount an account of an old civilization from which 180,000 individuals once lived. Wilderness getaway bundles can be found as well as two multi-day climbing trips that give guests an entire undertaking visit. While thinking about private security in Belize, consider visiting Caracol, be completely ready, and have the right stuff to have the option to endure the thick wilderness environment. Belize is well known for its celebrations, which have been numerous over time. One of the most famous is the three-day lobster fest, held yearly to stamp the beginning of the lobster season. It's hung on various ends of the week in diverse urban communities to stay away from conflicts, yet awesome, essentially, as per local people, it is in Placentia. Vacationers and Belizeans show up from everywhere in the country to gobble up heaps of lobster dishes made all over, including barbecued lobster, lobster ceviche, lobster thermidor, and lobster kebabs. Individuals are likewise urged to help the climate by eating lionfish dishes to decrease quantities of the obtrusive species. Guests come to Lobster Fest for the food but remain for the diversion and tomfoolery. There are lengthy oceanside gatherings with unrecorded music, all around supplied bars, games, challenges and contests, and expressions and artworks. Placentia Lobster Fest is an encounter to remember for your schedule if you're in Belize in June. There are likewise a lot of other energizing activities in Placentia to keep you occupied for some time. One of Belize's most impressive Maya archaeological sites is Zun Antunic, or Maiden of the Rock in the Maya language. From the archaeological findings, it is believed the Zun Antunic was a civic ceremonial center. Perched over a hilltop overlooking the Mopan River, Zun Antunic has 25 temples and palaces, and excavation is still happening today. Out of all the temples in Zun Antunic, there is one that you must visit, El Castillo. Translating to the castle in English, El Castillo is the second tallest structure in Belize at around 40 meters, 130 feet, tall. Unlike many of the Mayan ruins, it is possible to go up the El Castillo, where you will find sweeping views of the nearby valley. Visiting Zun Antunic is one of the things you must do in San Ignacio. Explore the Cajal Peck ruins. Located within walking distance of San Ignacio, Cajal Peck is one of the most accessible Mayan ruin sites in Belize to visit for those already planning a trip nearby, though, admittedly, the walk to Cajal Peck from San Ignacio is uphill. This beautiful, shaded ruin site dated back to 1200 BCE and was home to 10,000 and 15,000 people at its peak. Exploring on foot is lovely, the surrounding shade is welcome in the heat. The name itself translates to Place of Ticks, which is admittedly not the most appealing name in the world but the city, overlooking San Ignacio and Santa Elena, was essential to trade routes in its time and is one of the oldest Mayan cities in Belize. At the Iguana Safe Haven in San Ignacio, Belize, you'll get an opportunity to learn undeniably more about the reptiles that you'll most likely see each day while visiting Belize. Here, you can hold and take care of the iguanas while more deeply studying the preservation of this captivating compromised species. The task is based on the stunning San Ignacio Resort Inn, an incredible spot to remain while investigating San Ignacio. The Belize Zoo is a unique and family-accommodating fascination in Belize that ought to be on each Belize schedule. 
Begun in 1983, it is one of the world's leading zoos that is primarily of saved untamed life. Notwithstanding signs around the zoo giving realities on different species, every creature likewise gets a signal that depicts how it came to inhabit the Belize Zoo. While independent day visits are how many people partake in the office, the zoo likewise offers a confidential night visit that should be reserved no less than 24 hours ahead of time. To oblige guests however much as could reasonably be expected, the Belize Zoo is ultimately wheelchair open. This rewards families with little kids since it implies their buggies will not experience difficulty getting to shows. Chicken transports, changed over North American school transports, are normal across Focal America, and Belize is no particular case. For long rides, the transport can't be viewed as exceedingly agreeable. However, they are a paramount social experience and worth the difficulty. Chicken transports between the most well-known spots to visit in Belize are an excellent spot to meet different explorers, and not quite as hot true to form, open windows improve everything. Had extraordinary encounters with chicken transports across Focal America, and Belize was in front of the rest of the competition to give them a shot. It took a little becoming accustomed to, having the cash controller on the transport find out where we were proceeding to make statements like, here, get off at this abandoned corner, and the right transport will get you quickly, yet they were in every case right and we experienced no difficulty getting around. Stardust channel hopes that you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit the like button. We also appreciate it if you leave comments. We greatly appreciate you watching this video and the Stardust channel. Until the next video, thanks for watching.